Okay, so let's draw an alpaca. The first thing you're going to need to draw is an oval. But we're gonna take this long skinny oval and turn it sideways. This will be our alpaca's head, just like this. Don't make the oval too big, because we need room for the alpaca's long neck and body. Then we're going to draw an eye inside of our oval using a circle. So we'll draw not in the middle of the head, just kind of over here. Draw a circle with another circle inside. And now we're going to draw the letter Y, an uppercase Y, right here at the front of our oval, just like this. The letter Y. The next thing we're going to do is use a long skinny rectangle for the neck, I'm sorry, rectangle for the neck. Okay, we're going to start here. We're not going to put it in the middle of the oval, a little to the side under the eye. And we'll draw a rectangle like this. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is use another oval for the body. And same as the head, we're going to draw the oval sideways. But instead of going out this way like the head, it's going to go back here. Let me show you. A big oval for the body. Next, we have the legs. And we're going to, yet again, use a rectangle, but this time an up and down rectangle. And they're gonna be really short because alpacas have really short legs. So I'm gonna draw four legs. One, two, three, four. Four legs. And at the bottom of our legs, we're gonna use a bumpy line like this for a bumpy line for the little toes or the, I don't know what those are called, but the feet of the alpaca. So we're gonna go like this, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And we're gonna keep going with this bumpy line because we, the alpaca is really fluffy and has a lot of fur. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start here, right above that letter Y, and I'm going to draw my bumpy line out and around. So like this. Ooh, all the way around. And we're going to keep going around the body, back up around the neck. Stop there. Don't go around this part of the alpaca's face. Um, also, we want to do that really tiny on the sides of the legs. We want to add those bumpy lines to make our alpaca look really fluffy and furry. Alpaca wool is one of the softest wools in the world and a lot of people use it to make scarves and clothes and things. One more bumpy line, uh, actually two more, we're going to do a little bumpy line for the tail. And then around this side of the alpaca's head, we want to draw another bumpy line like that. So cute. And last but not least, we want to put some ears. So we're going to use a triangle. We're going to draw two triangles. I'm going to draw one triangle here above the eye and another little bit smaller triangle right next to it. We draw this one smaller because it makes it look like this ear is further away. And then we can add another little triangle inside if we want. You can even give your alpaca or your llama eyelashes. Um, and now let's color it in. A lot of times llamas are white, but sometimes they're gray or brown or a mix. Especially alpacas, a lot of them are brown. So... Maybe you want to put a little brown. Oh, 
or you can do white. Hey, if you want, you can make a blue alpaca. It's totally up to you. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna give my alpaca purple feet. Purple feet, why not? And I'm gonna give her a pink face. Sorry guys. And there you have it, my alpaca.